I'm Chad Laracy. And I'm Dawn Serrani. And this is another episode of the Mountain Life Show. Today we're at Nelson Tractor Company, right in Blairsville, Georgia. Today we're here at Nelson Tractor with Will Nelson. Uh, proud to call you a good friend, a close friend, and um, I know you're a third generation owner of Nelson Tractor and your yep. granddaddy started this a long time ago. So tell long us a little ago. bit about that. Uh, back in 1949 is when Nelson Tractor began. Uh, Ralph Twig Sr. had the Ford car dealership and then Ford introduced tractors and he and my grandfather ran the tractor business together for a little while and then he just told my granddad said Cecil why don't you just take the four tractors and, and move down there and it's the building um, across from Proflame where Busy Printing used to be and he moved down there in 1949. It originally started the parking lot of the Blairville restaurant is where the Ford car dealership was and they sold Ford cars and tractors and then my granddaddy moved down uh, on I forget the Young Hare Street to that building down there and then built a house right below the dealership which actually if you want history it was the first all-electric house in the county and still wow. standing there for, for now anyway right below the old dealership there uh, kind of behind the uh, Chick-fil-a but that's where it all began and uh, this year last year was our 70th anniversary we've been been 70 years last year in March and we started out with Ford tractors and then my dad started importing Kubotas in 1970. It's kind of unofficial, but the best we can tell, we're the oldest Kubota dealer, I think in the United States, at least in the Southeast, but most likely in the United States. And then Kubota came to the US in 1972. We had already been selling for two years before that. And then when I got out of college, I added deer in 1991. And that's where we are today. We have added a second store in Jasper and we're in the process of adding a third in Dalton, Georgia. Uh, so it's, it's, it's kind of the way the business model has gone. They've kind of gone away from having a single store dealer uh, to where you have multiple stores. And that's just, it has a lot to do with economies of scale. Mm -hmm. But uh, that's kind of a brief history of, of us and, and, and sort of where we came from. Well, I know when I uh, it first met you and I got to know you a little bit, the, uh, the business, you were pretty heavy into small engine. We were. You've kind of gotten a little bit away from that, but you're still carrying, uh, of course now the, the big thing is the zero turn mm -hmm. uh, mowers and things of that nature. Right. You know, we did chainsaws and string trimmers and, and, and I quickly figured out it was about 5% of our business and about 50% of our headaches. And it took just <laughs> as much time to sell a chainsaw as it did a tractor. Well, the sales guys didn't want to fool with the chainsaws. They'd rather sell a tractor because obviously um, your commission's a little better on a tractor sale than it is on a, on a, on a chainsaw sale. And it mm -hmm. just, it really got to where it didn't fit. And it was more of a business on its own than being part of what we did. And um, we, we just made the decision to get out of it uh, because the lawnmower business and the commercial one was taking off so much that we just really didn't have time uh, to do a good job with it. And if I can't do a good job, I don't really want to. I don't right. take my time. Um, well, I know you and I have had uh, many conversations about just business and quite a few. Know, words like relationships and mm -hmm. you know treating your employees like family. And you know, I find that that's been a very constant thing in the folks that we've gone around in our you know thirty businesses in thirty days, mm -hmm. and not just within the, their own company, but the folks that keep coming back for years and years and the relationships that you build with them. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. I, I think we tried to go sterile with everything being online, with Amazon and with, with that sort of thing and, and all your ordering and, and even we still do things online, but when it comes down to it, people still like to do business with people. Absolutely. And I think that's why y'all are successful. That's why really most of these businesses in these small towns are successful because we rely on people. I'm not looking to get orders from 100 miles away. If I can't shake your hand, I don't really want to do business with you. And I think our customers enjoy that. I've had several customers that say that it doesn't matter what brand you sell, whatever you tell me is what I need is what I'm going to buy. 
and, and I think that speaks volumes for, for us mm -hmm. uh, because people rely on us and, and, and I don't want to let them down. I mean, that's my name on the front of the building um, and I don't, uh, I don't, I want it to be the best. I'm not always concerned with being the biggest, but I do want to be the best. I want to take care of people. And when I'm gone, I want people to talk about me like they talked about my granddaddy. And that's, that's kind of my ultimate goal. And your dad. And my dad too, yes. Well, you built, yeah, and you've built this incredible business based on trust. Mm -hmm. Do you also service we different do. tractors? We do. And We've got trucks. We haul stuff in and out. If it tears up, we go get it. Um, fix it. We sell parts. I've got about 10 technicians in the back. Um, we keep over a million dollars of parts on the shelves at all time between here and the store in Jasper. And uh, it, it's, it's quite a huge investment, but uh, it's what it takes. Um, you've got to be ready when people need you. You've got to be there. And that's, that's what we've always done. I think the best compliment that I ever got was had a customer in Jack Groves over in Hazel, North Carolina, came in and bought a tractor from me. And, and after we shook hands, the deal was done. He said, well, well, he said, I bought it from a tractor from your granddaddy. I bought one from your daddy. And now I bought one from you. He said, can't tell the difference. <laughs> and I thought, oh, that's the best thing. That's Sounds like a pretty good slogan yeah, right there. Yeah, it is. Because, I mean, things change behind the scenes. The way I have to deal with manufacturers change. But the way I deal with you shouldn't have changed. Yeah. And we want whoever comes in that front door, I want it to be a, a warm family feeling. Because that's, that's who we are. Your enemies aren't going to come do business with you. Your friends are the only ones going to come do business with you. So you better have as many friends as you can have. And you better treat people right. Um, and I think by and large, that's what these folks do. Um, and we've got really good people. You do. You know, one thing I think that, that I've noticed, and uh, you know, again, when I first was introduced to Nelson Tractor, and you, you know, you introduced me to a lot of your now family, friends mm -hmm. that, that are still with you. They were in the service department. They were mm -hmm. grinding it out on tractors, and now they're now they're your salespeople. Mm -hmm. And I mean, who who better to sell a tractor that knows the ins and outs oh, of of how they function? And you know, it's uh, it's just uh, I think that speaks volume that you've got these people and they're you know opportunity for advancement mm -hmm. and growth in your company and uh, and the knowledge that they gain through coming up that way. And if we have a hiccup, if we have someone that has like um, had a technician that had a heart issue uh, a couple weeks ago who was actually back now he didn't want to be out long uh, but he had uh, he was out but we, we cross trained people where we had people who can step right in and, and that's what we do so they can sell I've got a guy that does warranty that's been in sales he's been in parts he's been in a truck he's been an assistant service manager I can plug him in anywhere and he's been here for quite a while I've got several that have been here 15 plus years um, you know, and I think they just love me, but, uh, but <laughs> all, all jokes aside, we treat people like we want to be treated and we just are like a family. And I always tell everybody when I hire them, I say, we're a family. We love like brothers and sisters and sometimes we fight like them too. And that's, <laughs> that's, that's part of it. We're just people. Yeah. Well, I know, uh, I don't take for granted our friendship. You know, we've raised our, our two children together and then we raised our uh, bonus third, babies yes. together <laughs> yeah yep <laughs> so um we got a we got a long history ourselves and i'm i'm very proud of that and uh, very grateful for for what you know friendship man you guys are um I, you know a pillar in the community as well i mean uh, it's just amazing um you know how much you guys have given back to the community and continue to do that and what an asset you are to the community. Well I appreciate that. Our, our, our thing is is you know and you know we've, we've coached we've coached together but we've coached kids in baseball and now girls softball and uh, I like to be involved. I have to have something else. This place is not enough I have to have something else to do and I choose to try to give that time to the kids. Um, they could be future employees, they could be future customers um, and I, they're, they are our future and I think the more we pour into them uh, the better our community is going to stay because I want Blairsville to be what it is today 20 years from now mm -hmm. well, after I'm gone I don't I really I'm really vested here and I don't want it to change it's an incredible place to grow up and to live and uh, I, want it, I want it to stay that way well speaking of uh, those kiddos uh, I think you're Agreement. At least one I'm thinking of that might be that fourth generation. 
well, yes. carrying on the Nelson name in this community? I have a, a, a middle child that's uh, Jared that's in college right now that his anticipation uh, right now is to come back and, and work at Nelson Tractor Company and then I have an 11 year old girl that her intent is to boot him out whenever she gets here oh, really? and that she's going to take over yes so um and i believe she might could just <laughs> she, do may, she may do it she may do it but no they um they all have some might have some interest in it uh jared seems to be the one that's the most and but they all uh, even andrew with what he's wanting to do has a lot to do with some agricultural so i i just i don't care what they do i want i'd love them to be back here and if they want to step in here, then that'd be awesome. I would be more than happy to take a back seat. Um, I'm sure I could find a stream to go fishing in or <laughs> a field to tree in. stand to go sit yeah. in. I'm sure I could find something to go do, but, uh, but I want to do it here. Um, this place is a special place, special people and a special place. Well, Will, I know you're a busy man. I appreciate your time uh, sharing with us uh, a little bit about Nelson Tractor and um, you know, uh, we appreciate all that you do. Hey, thank you, and I appreciate y'all doing this. This is a, it's a great thing to do. Uh, it really is. It's not, you don't have to do it, uh, but I think that speaks a lot about who you are. Just take time to come do these things. And Madison, thanks for running the camera. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Will. Have a great day. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>